Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again and something a little different today. I thought I'd do what's sold this month for a profit. So if you're new to my channel or you haven't watched any of my videos, I go to a lot of car boot sales, I buy a lot of stuff and sell it on for a profit. But I never really do a video on what I bought, how much it did actually sell for. So I thought that's what I'd do today. And yeah, I've got a few items here that sold today and then I'll go through some previous stuff this month that sold for a profit. Up first, I picked up this Kodak camera bag. I believe it was new old stock. I think someone bought this and never used it. It's, I mean, it's got its original paper in it still. And I picked this up at the car boot sale. I paid the price of only one pound for it, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And today it sold on eBay for £20 plus shipping. So that's a decent return on that. Nice little item. I'm surprised it was so cheap at the car boot sale. And I'm quite surprised it actually sold for £20. I thought I was only going to get about a tenner for it. So quite happy with that. A decent bit of profit. Ooh, just get it back in this bag. Doo -doo -doo. Whenever I do sell an item on eBay, I put a decent amount on shipping to cover the shipping cost and, say, the packaging. So that's pretty good. I've got a little list here as well for me to go on. Up next, a while ago, I bought a massive job lot of watches for £20. And this is about half of them here. These are all really the non-branded, not very good watches that aren't really worth much. I could keep these fix them up and sell them on but it's probably going to take over a year to sell all of these because they're not the best brands and they're not in the best condition and stuff like that so literally I put these online as a job lot of ladies watches spares and repairs and they sold for £20 which is great because I paid £20 for the whole lot this covers everything else I've got a bunch of others I've listed online that need to be sold I've got a few others to put online as well so yeah, that's break even on that. So not really a profit, but we've broke even and then whatever else sells is a profit on that. So that's quite good. Up next, we've got, whilst we're still talking about watches, this little watch here. This is a Swatch watch. I paid £1 for this at a car boot sale. It needed a new battery, but I've got tons of those on hand. And yeah, it's in good working order now. Paid £1 and it sold on eBay for £10 plus shipping. So a good little return on that one. Up next, still on watches at the minute. Not exactly a watch, but we got this Gucci watch box here. I picked this up at the car boot sale and I paid £2 for it. It's got this little pillow inside, but it hasn't got any instructions or manual or papers, should we say, which makes it, you know, adds a bit more value. But still, the box is in pretty good condition. A bit of wear here and there, but nothing serious really. So £2 paid on this, and today this sold for £12.50 plus shipping. So again, a good little profit on that. Up next, where are we going? Got this little pendant next. Now, I buy like little bundles of jewellery every now and then. And this was in one of those bundles. I believe I've already made some profit on that bundle. And today, this little pendant here, it's a St. Christopher. So you put this on a necklace. And I believe people say it's for like good luck on your travels or happy travels, that kind of thing. It's marked silver on the back and it's actually written in silver. They've just written silver on it. Which is fair enough. But yeah, this little pendant sold for £5 plus shipping. So that's pretty good as well. Little £5 profit. Happy days. And I believe this is the last one I've got that I haven't shipped off yet. But I picked this up probably a year or two ago now. This watch here. And I've just realised the battery's dead, so I'm going to have to do something about that. <laughs> oh, but yeah, sort that out. But yeah, I paid... I can't remember what I paid on this, but I gave it to my mum for a present. And then she didn't want it anymore. She decided she wanted a different watch. And I had quite a few in, well, quite a few watches available. And she liked one, so I swapped it out for that. This watch here sold for £25 plus shipping. I did not realise the battery's dead, so I'm going to have to do something about that quick tonight before I ship it. 
but still £25 for this watch. Pretty good going. It probably could have gone for a bit more. It's a Michael Kors watch, but unfortunately, it's got an inscription on the back, which does affect the value a little bit. I believe it's Happy 60th D or something like that. 60th Love D, I think it is. Inscribed on the back there. But still, decent little bit of profit. Happy days on that one. And that's everything I've got to hand. Now I'll try and add in an image of what sold on the eBay and how much it sold for. So up first, hopefully it appears over here somewhere. We got this job lot of men's seconda watches. There were six in there. Some came from the watch bundle box. Well, in the big watch bundle. And the others, I think three of them I paid like a pound each for. And they sold for £10. So that's really about £7 profit on that, which is pretty good going. Up next, whilst we're still on watches, we got a Titan watch. Now this one came in the £20 bundle and this one here sold for £15 plus shipping. So that's great. That's profit now on that watch bundle. So £15 profit, well, a little bit more because of the Seconda watches. But yeah, we're in profit on that lot now. So happy days about that. That's quite good. Up next, a uh, harmonica. It wasn't in the best condition, but it had, it was a good brand. It was a Honor Echo Harmonica, I believe. And I only paid a pound for it. It didn't sell for a huge amount, but £7.50, so a little bit of profit on that. Next up was this Sony microphone. I bought two microphones, and the Sony one was the not as good one out the bundle. They were £4 each, the microphones, so this Sony one was £4, and it sold for £15 plus shipping. Pretty good going. Next up, we got a Citizen Eco Drive watch. I like buying this brand watch because they do really well for me. And yeah, I know what I'm looking for with them. It wasn't in the best condition, so it sold for £25 plus shipping. But that's absolutely fine because the watch itself only cost me £12. So that was all good. Next up, we had this Omega radio receiver. It was in working order, but it was missing its antenna. I think I paid like two or three pounds for it and it sold for £10 plus shipping, so that was okay. Another watch again, this rotary vintage watch. It was a manual one, so you wound it up, but it was a bit iffy. I put it in the description that it needed looking at. It did work, but it stopped every now and then, which was a little annoying. But yeah, I didn't pay a huge amount for that. Well, no, I paid £10 for a bundle and that was in the bundle. So £5 profit on that and it's paid for the bundle and i got a couple of other watches I need to put on. So yeah, that was pretty good on that front. Next up was another instrument. It was this Honor Melodica Alto. It was like, it, it's kind of like a piano, but you blow into it. It's a weird instrument. This one here was in terrible condition. I only paid £2 for it, but it did only sell for £7. So only a little profit on that still profits profit next up another citizen eco drive watch i paid 30 pound for this one it was a citizen eco titanium watch it was in perfectly good working order lovely little watch and it sold for 45 pound plus shipping so happy about that then we've got this polaroid camera here this was a polaroid digital camera i paid three pound for this camera it had in the bottom as well an eight gigabyte sd card which i've kept to sell on with some other sd cards so that was good that pretty much pays i think an eight gigabyte sd card probably worth about three pound on its own so that pays for that basically but no um the camera actually sold for 18 pound plus shipping so that was a pretty good return on that and the last item that sold on ebay this month was this panasonic lumix camera I paid £10 for this camera in perfect working order with a spare battery charger and a little bag. So that was a really good price, £10 on that. And it ended up selling £40 plus shipping. So that was a really good return on that one. And that's everything that sold on eBay from like the 6th of March till today. And what's it, the 27th today. So roughly about 20 days just over. And yeah, a few good sales. I did make some other sales on like Facebook Marketplace and a few, you know, car boot sales and stuff like that. But I can't be asked to go into that, to be honest. But yeah, so the total profit on those items was roughly just under £200, which was pretty good going. What you have got to remember, though, as well, 
with like selling on eBay, you do have to pay listing fees. Luckily, I got an email voucher and it was like 75% off listing fees, which was pretty good going. So it saves me a lot of money. eBay doesn't take as big a commission. So that was quite good. A majority of those sold with that voucher on there. So happy days with that. But yeah, some good sales this month. Some good profit. I did go to a car boot sale today, but I only picked up one watch. I haven't got it to hand at the minute. I'll probably do a little shorts video on that. If you're interested, you can go check that out. But I paid an all right price for that, and I think it'll make a good little profit. But yeah, for today, that was quite a good little number of sales for a Monday, really. So I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, some good sales and some decent profit, really. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you're interested in buying and selling, you're interested in car boot sales, stuff like that, thrifting, side hustle, if you like, yeah, you can subscribe to my channel and check out my videos. I don't do it full time. I just do it as a bit of a hobby. So like £200 from a hobby is pretty good going. This isn't my full time job. I literally do it just to make a little bit of extra cash. And I enjoy going to the car boot sales. I find it fun rummaging through old boxes and it's like treasure hunting for me, basically. But yeah, anyway, I'm getting off track here. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you like the video, leave a like. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Bye for now.